Gary, I should imagine you're highly satisfied with both the performance and the result today. Yeah, normally they both go together, don't they? You, you'd normally got to have a good performance and uh, and then you get the result. And That was the most solid we looked. It was certainly the most competitive we'd been for a little while. Um, we did have to drag a few down, take a few out this week, and uh, it was a matter of how they reacted. And that reaction just tells us that we got a group that we thought we had originally. You know, now it don't look so bad. The Portsmouth game, obviously we were disappointed, but now the league games is two wins and two draws. We've come here and I think demoralised a very good team. Um, and we've done everything we need to do. Every single department did their bit. Um, I asked them for their man of the match performance and I think there was a few man of the matches out there. I couldn't pick one that wouldn't have been. So how have you, in your words, sort of dragged it out of them today? Well, I mean, I, you know, you don't like going to the public on but I mean, uh, one thing is, we, is AJ, of course, where we, we need him scoring goals. So he needs to look like he's going to get a hat-trick every game to maybe get one and then maybe get 15, 20 a season. He's a fantastic finisher, good striker of the ball. And I said the reason why he's missing, I felt, was because he wasn't particularly having a great game. Not today, or in other, in other. so once you get into credit and the ball comes to you, you aren't, you're not worried about missing it. And then he's got the technique not to miss it. And the one who took most of it, God bless him, has been um, Aaron, because he wins a lot of headers in his own penalty area, and he don't win many in the others. So we've been, unfortunately, uh, giving him a bit of stick all week about that. And here he goes in the first five minutes, and it's a... It's a different way of motivation, but sometimes you lose them and sometimes you get them. And he did fantastic today against that Hanson, but the goal was you know, spot on ball, which Sam was putting in in the Portsmouth game. But we weren't getting anywhere near it. We were fighting people and coming out second best. So that was a little bit of uh, motivation in a, as a, in a different way. <laughs> so was that today in the hotel? It was a bit of both. It was all week in training. Uh, and we decided that because we think he could handle it, we try to help him as well, get the timing right, and stop keep cuddling people in the in the you know in the penalty area. Which he goes up there for a cuddle sometimes. <laughs> he didn't today, did he? He went up there for a fight, and that's how you have to uh, have to be. He didn't celebrate the second one much, so there, there appeared to be a bit of doubt whether he'd actually got the touch on it. No, I don't think anyone got the touch on it. It right. was just, I mean, there's a story there as well. We've been a bit disappointed. Sam was okay against Portsmouth. Um, but we've been disappointed previously with our set plays and the quality of the ball in. And uh, Sam, other than Portsmouth, Sam was putting in the, What we did was we asked Gareth Stewart to take a couple of wide free kicks for the opposition yesterday in preparation for this, because we know that they've got a bit of quality. And Gareth Stewart was putting them on the button, causing us all sorts of problems. And that's why Sam ran over to Gareth Stewart because they had a little chat and uh, he put it on the button and there's only one place that that ball can go and that's whoever heads it in. And it, on this occasion it was it was them. All strikers like to get off the mark. Um, for AJ, what's that going to do for his confidence? I think, it would do, I think the whole game will do a lot for his confidence. The whole game will do a lot for all of our confidence. You have to believe in yourselves, don't you? And uh, you're away at Bradford um, and the boys are playing a bit of football over there. We, we hit them on the break hard. We had to defend the penalty area. You know, they put the most amount of balls into a penalty area for Hanson. Uh, we won maybe 50%, but the 50% that we didn't, we was picking up the runners. And uh, normally he wins 100%, and that's dangerous for people that eventually get in. Um, and that's why they are where they are. But uh, we certainly sorted that out. Our tactics were good, but then you need a team to put those tactics into place, and they've done that today. Just for those who didn't hear our pre-match chat, um, you still want a few players. You've got to have a chat to the board this week to discuss how things are going to go forward. Uh, yeah, I am. Yeah, because you, you've always got to be moving forward. You know, you can't stand still. You know, if you're standing still, you're going backwards, as I say. And uh, you know, don't chastise me for chasing the ball up as they would chase me up. You know, they'll soon call me in and say why are we bottom of the league, you know what I mean? And uh, I always say 10 games, I, I, and that's the reason why, you know, all of a sudden, that team has, has produced that performance that's put us mid-table, uh, at least. And then, of course, we're still in touch now with the, with the boys in the top six.